Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 25th of July 2018 and the time has just gone 12.05 British Summer Time. This week's Chart of the Week is Gold. Uh, and as we, as we saw last week, gold fell to a one-year low, which really sums up how negative uh, the sentiment uh, is currently in the gold market. If you take a look at the price action since April, we can see that the gold market has been a classic example of a downward trend uh, since then. Uh, and a downward trend is defined as a series of lower lows and lower highs. So taking a look at the price action from mid-April, we can see the market moved lower here, creating the first lower low, pushed higher here, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, last week's uh, one-year low, and then it's managed to push on higher here again. So the market is clearly in, in a downward trend, and we could expect, uh, we, we haven't seen any, any signs so far that this downward trend is coming to an end. Um, it's also worth pointing out, historically, gold has acted as a safe haven for a safe haven asset. Uh, essentially, whenever equity traders are worried about the instability in the stock market, they've often bought assets that are deemed to be safe, such as the US dollar or the Japanese yen, or in some cases, gold. Um, and it really sums up how negative sentiment is in gold in a period of the last couple of months that gold has been selling off. We've also seen the instability in global equity markets. And when gold can't do well in a scenario where equity markets are selling off, it really highlights how poor sentiment is. Historically speaking, gold has also had an inverse relationship with the U.S. dollar. Uh, and, and the U.S. dollar throughout 2018 has had, has had a fairly good run. And uh, any, anyone trading the gold market should keep an eye on the U.S. dollar because for the last few months, it seems that the negative relationship between the U.S. dollar and gold has been quite strong and therefore it's likely to continue in the near term. As I mentioned, gold fell, gold fell to a one-year low last, last week. Uh, and if this negative trend were to continue, we could look at Good looking at, at, uh, at testing last July's low of 12.04. Uh, should we go south of 12.04, the big psychological important 12, 1200 number, would then come into play? And if we go south of that, we could be looking heading back down towards the low from January 2007, which is in the 12.80 region. So these are the targets to keep an eye out for to the downside uh, should the negative move in gold continue. Uh, any bounce back uh, in, in the price of gold may run into resistance at this area here, 12.36. Or uh, perhaps even we could have uh, resistance come into play in around the 1250 area here. A lot of consolidation in the 1250 area. And if we go north of 1250, we could be looking at heading back up towards this area here, 1266. Well, that's off made this week. Thank you very much.